Welcome to this week's piece. So this is a dingy little dresser. Um, I only picked it up because it came with a buffet and I felt like, why not type thing. I, It's a little too small for something that I would just really want to pick up unless I had something in particular in mind for it. It's just, it's very dirty. It has like that old musty smell, which is not my favorite, but I felt like it'd be a really cute, like little girl's dresser. I mean, any, it's obviously a child size dresser. So that's kind of where I went with it. So these pulls obviously have to go. They're just a little too blocky for me and they're just put on with nails. That's it. So they're easy to remove. I just wanted to be careful that I didn't chip out any of the wood taking them off. So yeah, they just seem dangerous. I don't know. Those spikes are, it's exciting. Um, anyway, so I just used the flat knife there and hammered it in. This is a very, very thin one and it just helps prevent damage to the wood the thinner you, you go with it. And then you wiggle them out the rest of the way. Super easy. At one point in time, this dresser used to be blue and then they stripped it back. And what I think happened is they never put any finish on it after that. So it's just very dingy because you know, the oil from people's hands and being used for so long, it just attaches to the wood, especially when it's unsealed. So I gave this a really, really good clean. And then I had one of the kids that she wanted to help out. This is my little sister. Um, so she wanted to help out and do some sanding and everything like that and fill her. It's really fun having her go through and do things and learn how to do stuff. So that's what she did. And then the entire thing got a sand. It didn't need a sand for any adherence. I wasn't going to have any issues with that because the wood was very dry. But it's just good to give it a smooth coat. There was a lot of scratches in this. And I just wanted to make sure that we had a decent surface. Now this still had like some dings and scrapes in it that I wasn't too worried about. But any of the bigger ones we sanded out or filled. And that made it really easy. And then the color wasn't my most favorite so I took a little platinum seas and a little bit of dark khaki and just gave me a really light beige and that was a good kind of wash color for me because my initial idea with this was to have just a very boho vibe that's where I was going with it and then of course things change as they always do with me I can never <laughs> for whatever reason whatever idea I have in the beginning lately has not been where things end up at and that's fine it is what it is but I just am like man when is there is there going to be a piece that comes out the way I want it to but anyway so I did a wash on the top two drawers and just kind of the top portion of this because I knew I kind of wanted it to be very plain and muted on the bottom and just kind of have it fade down into that so my washes are I literally don't measure anything. I just get a color that I like. Usually it's something that will help the wood look better. So if I'm dealing with a reddish type wood, I will usually have something a little more green tone, but still, you know, that cream color, but you had a little green tone in there. It will kind of tone back the red in the wood or the pink. And then if you have like this wood is yellow, I went in with a little bit of gray that had a purpley undertone and then added the khaki to warm it up a bit. And that way it kind of will mute out the yellow in the wood. So that's why I did this color here. And at this point, I don't know what the exact design that I want. So I'm kind of doing a little extra wash everywhere because I don't know where it's going to end up, but I want to know that I have that base for whatever it is going to end up being. Now this color is called Sunday Sunset. I wanted it to be a little bit more mauve, but I didn't want to mix colors. So I went with this and I actually really like how it turned out. It's not a bubblegum pink. It's a very good, it's almost a neutral pink where it can be kind of adult or kid if you like blend it in with something. I feel like it would be a really good adult pink but it can also work as this was like a, I envision it in a baby's room is kind of the end game in my head when I was doing this. 
And so when I have Lucas do this for me, he kind of just slaps paint on and does it everywhere, but then I'll go through and spritz it with water and then I can go in and just do the long clean strokes to clean up anything that he's done, but it makes him feel like he's helped and I don't know. I just think it's good for kids to let them do stuff too. So for this, it was easy because the bottom two drawers were getting that plain pink coat and then the very bottom of the dresser was getting that. So. As I'm working and I'm not really sure where I'm heading with things, I just try and get as much done as I can where I know that it's going to need to be and then I can move on from there. So I had a taping design in mind. I wanted it to have this kind of, not fully chevroned, but you know, like an almost chevroned V situation going on and I wanted to go up into the top I wasn't sure how low I was gonna go with it. I just, I wasn't fully sure what was gonna happen, but I just started taping until I saw something that I liked. And if you guys are doing this and you paint it and you hate it, it's paint. You can go right over it like it never happened and you can fix everything. So that's really why I love this job is just that you can make mistakes and it's not a big deal. It's like, oh, well, I didn't like that and it's not the end of the world. I can always fix it or do something different if I don't like it. And then initially I was going to try and do the sides exactly the same, but I left the sides pretty minimal. And the front, I actually changed it because I thought that was too much. And so I got rid of the two bottom ones. I'm like, I'm mm, just not a fan. And then what I'll do for the edges is I will take a small little detail brush, go in and clean up and smooth the lines and make sure everything matches. And then I ended up painting in the lip as well on the very top because I didn't like how that looked. So I'm just kind of messing around because I'm not sure where I'm gonna end up. I'm just going through and doing what I think I will like. And then here as I'm looking at it, I'm like, man, I really don't like this as much as, as I should. I just, I wanna like it more and I'm not excited about it. So I just keep going and then I finally come up with an idea. So you guys see me use these stamps before, I love them. They're the Rose Twall ones from IOD. They're awesome, I picked them up off of Etsy and I'm literally just brushing them with the exact same pink and I'm going to stamp over all of the negative space lines. So they'll still be there but they won't be so in your face and it's just, the most subtle, lovely, it's kind of like the old shiffer robe that I did. I just love this look where it's so subtle and muted, but they're still there. You can still see it. And I just think it's so sweet, especially on this little dresser. To seal this, I went ahead and used some of the extra semi-gloss spray that I had on hand. This is not my favorite way to seal a piece, but I was like, you know what, I have it. I might as well use it, especially since I'm down here and don't have all of my stuff. I just think it's good to use what I have. Um, and so in between coats, I did a fine grit sand just to kind of smooth everything out. And then I'll go back in and do a whole other coat over the entire dresser. And then... Once I'm finished with that, I will do another sand. I just feel like the spray is never as smooth as brushing on my satin poly like I normally do. Because you know I like to go a little overboard, I <laughs> did the sides in pink too and then did the stamps but in the wash color that I did. Just to have it, it's completely unnecessary but I've actually had people buy pieces from me because I've decorated my drawer sides. They're literally like, I bought this because of these drawer sides. So people like just a fun something on the side and I thought this was super cute and sweet so. I sealed all of the sides and did all of the drawers in the lavender wax. 
And then I went ahead and did the entire dresser coated with lavender wax as well, just because I wanted that kind of smooth waxy feel. And I feel like wax gives a better protection against wetness than poly does. So on almost all of my things, I'll do a clear coat of whatever poly I'm using, and then I will do a coat of wax over at least the top, if not the whole thing. So I had to change the hardware out obviously on this. So I made myself a little template out of cardboard and then I could just do it down on one side, flip it over to do the other side and all the holes line up perfectly. Initially I was going to use those same drop pulls I used on the nightstands I did in the last week's video, but they just didn't go. And so conveniently, the day before this, I had picked up a piece for the Ugly Duckling Challenge coming up and they were so perfect for this. I was like, well, that's just lucky. So I removed all of those because they aren't going to end up on that piece and I got to use them for this one, which was just super convenient. Like how perfect is this? They're white porcelain knobs with pink roses. And I was just like, well, that was meant to be. The inside of the drawers, I did this vintage style paper. I felt like it had the same tones of colors, but added extra color, even though you can't see it obviously because it's on the inside of the drawers. It just makes me happy to see it inside the drawers. Plus, anytime you're using baby stuff, you wanna make sure they have the cleanest surface possible. Oh, hi, Taryn here with Elegant Upgrades, and we've got our finished piece. So, of course, this was not what I had planned, but it's fine. I think that I'm just, things, they just come out the way they come out. Um, most of you know that, who have been doing this a while, you have no say. It just, you start and then it ends up somewhere completely different. Um, this thing I wouldn't have, it's a, it's a cute little dresser. It's definitely for a kid's room. Um, I probably wouldn't have picked it up if it didn't come with a buffet that I got. So the buffet was a, a definite yes. And I believe that will be the next video coming out. But this one I just picked up because it was there and it was kind of thrown in. I got it for, I think like $10 or something. So I'm like, yeah, whatever. Let's get it. Let's do something with it. And I had planned on going like, just real like modern boho and it turned out very cottage maybe still a little bit boho. And these knobs were just an accident. And I'm so glad that it happened because I have none of my hardware supply here. And so I've just ordered several things of hardware, uh, very similar in style. And so these came up and I'm like, you know what? Pink roses, this whole thing is pink roses. I couldn't have gotten more lucky. So that was really cool. I'm really thankful for those and that that happened. Um, but yeah. So I hope you enjoyed this. I hope it, and I mean, it. I like this. I think this is a cool like inspiration thing. It's a lot like the shipper rope that I did um, and that it's the wood with the stamps on it. I just think that's, I just like the look of it. Anyways, and this pink, like it's a little mauve. I wanted it to be a little more mauve. I don't know, it's fine, but we'll get it listed and see what happens this weekend. Maybe it will be sold, I don't know. Okay, you guys know the drill while I'm in California. It takes me a little bit longer to respond, but I do respond to every comment. So if you have questions at all, I'm happy to answer them. And Deborah mentioned on my last video because I was like, oh, you guys know about putting mineral spirits on stain to thin it out and do all that stuff. And she's like, yeah, you should mention that stuff. <laughs> Some people forget or there's new people watching. And so I just want you to know if you have any questions, I will answer them and I will try to remember to keep um, throwing things out there like that because she was totally right like it's stuff that I don't even think about anymore I just do it because I know it and that's what's supposed to happen, but not everybody knows and so I will try to remember that Not everybody has been doing this for so long. Okay. Thank you guys so much and I will see you next week